Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the Vivid Voltage set list and do a set review. As one of the few thing, couple things that we do. Set comes out, the others being early looks at what the meta might be, and just some talks about how some cards might be good. Before I begin, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe, since it is free. And if you do that, we can start doing things like giveaways. Throughout out the way, let's start taking a look. The first thing I notice here is a possible draw engine. Be drill, if you use the last card in your hand, you can put it on the bench, draw three cards. I see that this has potential, but seeing as BGL has very low HP, it doesn't do much damage, it probably won't be that good. Do look at your Mega and your Mana as a possible hit and run deck, though I don't see it as the best. Then the first archetype I kind of see, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm kind of looking for is competitive archetypes and casual archetypes and just good cards might see play. The first kind of archetype that's good card is Celebi. It, um, it could be C play for just the energy press as one of grass checkers, though it does have very low HP. Though it might see play for Amazing Bloom with a single type of Coco and a second attach. You can involve each of your bench Pokemon once. That could see you play evolving multiple Pokemon in the future. i just not sure what you'd evolve yet. First full archetype that I see is a uh, Shift Tree Dunskinor. We'll look at Dunskinor later, but what Shift Tree does is it makes all supporters only a draw three cards effect as long as Shift Tree is an active Pokemon. So it's kind of a lock deck. Phantom is doing okay damage. Next deck we see is kind of a Ninja Ninja Masks. Ninja Ask lets you find Ninja Masks and Ninja Masks. Has kind of a good attack, which we'll talk about later. Shaman, I see potential with Glimmer Tangle in stall type matchups. Next, we come across 